Welcome back to Unscripted. The Mothers Against Drunk Driving 2024 Walk Like Mad is coming up October 20th. And here with more information is Yvonne and Tabitha Clark. Yvonne and Tabitha, good morning. Thank you so much morning. for joining good morning. us. Good morning. So would you like to tell us a little bit about the walk happening October 20th before we get into your story? Yes, uh, Saturday, I'm sorry, Sunday, October 20th from 11 to 12, come out to Rutledge Farms with us. Um, we want to pack the park and have just as many, you don't have to pre-register, just come and join us. Um, if you want to register online, you can. It is $25 to register. All that money goes to MAD locally for um, learning. Um, they go to court with us. Just make sure that we have an advocate to help stop drunk driving. Mm -hmm. um, that's what that money goes for. Just come with us. It'll be activities for the kids, and it'll be a lot of fun. Bring your pets that are well-behaved. Dress up in your costumes. We just want it to be a fun family event for everybody to come out and learn about MAD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're looking at the flyer there right now. And you know, everybody's heard of MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and it's a super important group. It is. Because it's such an important issue. Do you mind, could you share a little bit of, of your story with us, Tabitha Navon? I got hit by a drunk driver December 5th of 2015 and got a TBI. Traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. How are you feeling now? I feel fine, but I just can't walk or talk very good. Mm. I gotcha. Well, we think you're doing great. Yes. Well, I, I wanted to ask, um, and not to get into too many of the specifics, was it morning time, night time? That morning. Early, it was morning. Early morning. Mm -hmm. She was coming home from bowling with some friends, yeah. and it was a Friday night. And at the intersection of Campbell and Sunset, got T-boned by a drunk driver. Mm. Oh. Um, he served five years, and he's he's um, he's done now. Mm -hmm. You know, he's moved on with his life. And you know, life for us, we've it's changed. We've adjusted. We've adapted. And you know, it is what it is now. I'm curious to know if Mad helped you during they this did. time, and how if, is that how you got involved? Yes, it is. Um, I reached out immediately. Um, thinking, okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Um, life has changed drastically for us. And Laura Cobb with the Springfield location here, she is absolutely amazing. Hi, Laura. Um, <laughs> she was there with us every step of the way. She took us to court. She explained to us what was going to happen in court, how things are probably not going to go our way in court. And she is still there with us today. And um, it, once you become a, a member of MAD, you are a lifetime member, and you meet so many other wonderful people that um, we say this is a club that no one wants to be a part of. Yeah. But once you're here, you have family members, extended family members that are there because they know why you're there, and they're there for the same reason. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why we're promoting this Walk Like Mad. Come out and walk with us. Yeah. You know, just to meet all these amazing people and hear their stories. Yeah. Now, have you been able um, to pay it forward to a family as well that is experiencing uh, what you and, and Tabitha and your family um, went through? We do meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. but unfortunately the people we meet, they've lost people. Mm -hmm. um, we don't see as many who are victims that are survivors, uh -huh. but we do like to speak to everybody we get a chance to just so that way um, somebody else doesn't create a Tabitha. Right. And we're, and we're just so glad that you're here and to, sh to share your story. Let's get the details about the walk one more time because we want as many people to come out to this as possible. Um, Sunday, October 20th um, from 11 to 12 is the actual walk. Uh, registration is at 10 o'clock. Come check in. And I think we'll actually be in the park until 2. We'll be at Rutledge Farms and come and have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. And you can scan it right there if you're looking at your screen right now. You can scan that to sign up and, uh, and get signed up for it. Yeah, and guys, it's such an important issue and, you know, until you meet somebody like Tabitha, it puts it in perspective too, to meet amazing people with stories and it can change maybe the way you're living your life and prevent something like this from happening. That's why we love MAD. Decisions. So Yvonne and Tabitha, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. We thank hope the walk you. is hugely successful with a lot of people and thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank yes. you for having us. All right guys, don't go anywhere. Coming up, we're heading to the Exeter Corn Maze right after this.